going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and there's news that I really did not see coming that was leaked today. Apparently there was somebody in Japan who leaked the new Coral Coral scans on the internet and you know this stuff isn't naturally supposed to be out so I mean I don't know I I it's pretty damn crazy the fact that this is stuff that's actually going down because there there's, it's been revealed that there are new mega forms of Swamper and Sceptile so these aren't fake, these aren't fan art, these aren't speculation, it's actually going down there's brand new Megas that are going to be introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and this I'm totally getting caught off guard by. So let's take a trip on down to Cerebi since this is where everyone's videos are basically going to be based upon, you know, why I cut out the middleman, you know, this is basically all from Cerebi. So we're going to go through this information together, my first time actually reading through it and as you can see right here there are scans of a lot of new stuff, not just, um, wait what the fuck, there's scans of a lot of new stuff, not just, um, you know, the mega forms, but the fact that there's a mega Diancy, what the hell? So anyways, reading from Sabri, the next batch of core core information has been posted to the Japanese forums and this batch showcases more information about the upcoming movie. This reveals Mega Sceptile, Swamper, and Diancy. Mega Sceptile is Grass Dragon, which is something everyone has been asking for, man. It can't get any better than that. That's... Oh, this is this is amazing, man. I can't believe there are new Megas. I already told you my reasons why I thought they wouldn't be. How are you going to be able to battle with X and Y? Or maybe you can only battle with those new Megas in Omega Ruby. I don't know. But anyways, Sceptile is Garas Dragon, while the others maintain their types. Mega Diancy's ability is also listed as question mark. They know, so it's mystery, apparently. And Kyogre and Groudon's new Mega Evolution. So right now, it's confirmed that the box art of Kyogre and Groudon are their Mega Evolutions, as they did look slightly different from the originals. So it's all confirmed. You know, Meg, um, Mega Kyogre and Groudon's Mega Evolutions are known as Adam Groudon and Adam Kyogre. Adam Groudon and Adam Kyogre. I don't, I don't know exactly what basis that could be upon. I mean, th does that affect like their... Well, then again, it's a Mega Evolution, so... These aren't forms. This is this is highly interesting information, you know? It adds to a lot of speculation, you know? Adam Groudon and Adam Kyogre. I, that, those seem like kind of weird names. You would think that they would kind of just call them by the, you know, Omega and Alpha namesake, you know, but whatever. Let's take a look at these images. So right now we're looking at Mega Diancy. Oh shit, okay, we're looking at the whole scan right now. Mega Diancy, it kind of reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of Diantha. Actually, now that I think about it, Diancy and Diantha kind of have a lot of similarities. Diantha being the champion in Pokemon X and Y. I wouldn't be surprised if Diancy's Mega Form has something to do with that, but pretty crazy. It looks like it has a dress on and everything, man. This Pokemon looks amazing. I already want to use Diancy on my team, so the fact that it gets a Mega like this and that typing too, pretty damn cool. And then Mega Sceptile. Mega Sceptile looks crazy. This actually doesn't look too different from some of the fan art and speculation that I've seen of Mega Sceptile. This looks really... This looks really, really good. I mean, it looks better than most of the fan art, but the fan art was kind of going the same way as this, you know, with the red markings on its body. It looks really... Is that the new Team Aqua and Magma? They got the new Team... Do you see how these dudes look? They do not look like Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> they look They look like they powered up, man. Holy shit. And of course, Mega Blaziken. And Mega Swamper. This thing looks like the biggest tank in existence, man. It, it, you see how big his arms are? This thing looks like he's ready to fuck. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. How is it going to battle with X and Y, though, if these Megas don't exist in that game? And then, of course, look at this. Look at the bottom of the scan. You can, you know what, let me, oh, man, this is crazy. Look at that. You can see Stephen Stone on the bottom of the scan. Stephen Stone, Stephen Stone, I don't know what you call him, but he's at the bottom of the scan, and it looks like, you know, Gian, um, G. Gian, Gian, is that even? Gian said that you know Steven will probably be the the most likely person to have a mega evolution, considering the fact that you know he's he's kind of like he, he kind of fits the role really well, you know. So, but yeah, that's this is pretty damn cool, man. All this updated stuff. All right, so let's take a look at a different scan right now, because it's looking it's looking like it's looking like Team Aqua and Magma get a little bit of a revamp, and yeah, sure enough, yeah, they do. Look at this. This looks crazy. These guys look, they look really updated. Like they don't really exactly look as silly as they did before. I think Team Aqua before looked a little silly, but these guys look pretty damn serious, man. Team Magma, they kind of have the same look, sort of, but Team Aqua, man, look at these guys. They, they don't just look like some random pirates, you know, or, or well, they do sort of maintain that piratey look, but they look like a lot more badass. They actually look really threatening here. So this is pretty crazy, man. 
Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is looking like it's gonna really revamp the Pokemon scene. I mean, first off, new Megas. So now, all right, now that new Megas have been confirmed, this officially alleviates my thought of there not being any new ones. So now I'm just thinking, who do I want to get a Mega form, man? But <laughs> anyways, leave your thoughts and opinions on the new information down below. This is crazy stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. It's not like my typical videos when X and Y was coming out. I kind of want to just look through Sarah because, you know, that's where everyone's getting this shit anyway. So, you know, might as well just go straight to the source. Is there any more scans? We have the goddamn trainers. Really? This is how the trainers are going to look? All right, this is lame as fuck. You better be able to change their outfits, because if this is how they're going to look, then come on, really? I mean, look at this. Why does he look so crazy for? All right, this isn't all right. This isn't exactly what I was expecting. All right, I'm a little disappointed at the trainers. They didn't really revamp them too much. And why do they keep giving the more recent Pokemon trainer designs these gay-ass pants for? No man should be caught wearing those pants outside of his fucking bedroom, man. That is not correct. <laughs> if you wear these pants outside of your house, I'm I, I, I wonder about where your mind is at. And the female trainer, she looks like May, pretty much. She looks exactly like her. It's more of a simplistic design, so they didn't really over-advance them. They didn't want them to look like, you know, they were super technologically advanced. It's kind of just like, you know... Ruby and Sapphire look, but just maybe in a different area. It, it kind of looks really similar, you know? I'm not crazy about it. I'm really not, but, I mean, hey. It, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess she looks all right, you know? And him, I don't know. They all look like bikers, man. I don't, I don't understand, but... All right, man, well, what do you guys think of these new looks? I'm not exactly too crazy about them. Let me know what you think about all this new shit. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourself, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.